Welcome everyone to the Lemurian lunation of the June full moon. That's moon number six since the winter solstice. So let me just take a few moments to tell you what lunation is. Making these recordings has come as a directive from the Pleiadian star mothers. They feel that we have been separated from the natural world of the moon cycles for much too long. We used to tell time by the sun, the moon, and the stars. And now we tell time by all manner of devices, and we've divided it up into all different kinds of things that have meaning in the modern world, but take us away from the influence of the lunar ca calendar and of the stars and the other planets and of course the sun we stay up long after the sun goes down we get up before the sun comes up we are really not in sync with the natural world we may lo look up in the sky and say oh there's the full moon or things like that or it may you know we may catch it out of the corner of our eye and see the last quarter or something but as far as the consciousness of the time and the influence that the moon and the planets have on us, we've just really stepped aside from that. So these recordings are meant to bring all of us back to that place of lunar influence, especially women, because as women, our lives are timed on the moon cycle. When we become young women, when we have our first bleeding, that's the beginning of being in sync with the moon, being a woman, having fertile or not fertile eggs coming and going from our body, creating other human life, being able to feed that. And then as we move on in our lives, or if we choose not to fertilize our eggs, we have other cycles and you can always look at what's going on with you and see if you're connected to or tuned into your creative cycles, your emotional cycles, your physical cycles, your rest cycles, and how they influence your life and if they are in sync with the moon cycles. If you become more conscious of the moon cycles, more aware of what phase the moon is in, you can use the energy of the moon, the lunar cycle, for your own benefit. You can use it to make fertile projects, or you can use it to really shine light on things that have been maybe lurking in the shadows for much too long. And in this time of the Northern Hemisphere moon, the sixth moon, we're in a time of our days lengthening, the temperature's warming, uh, things are turning green, the ground is fertile. We have a lot of moving upward energy. And the moon is casting a light on all these things. So there may be some things in your life that need to move up and out and the moon will always do that the full moon will always cast a light and bring light to where there are shadows and expose shadows and we can call them other things besides shadows but truly what they are is something that is not in the light so you can take time to feel into what is that for you what may be in the shadows waiting to be brought to light. If you use the moon and the water cycle also that the moon brings, we know the tides are much higher during the full moon. <clears throat> it's a great time for cleansing. And that can be cleaning out a closet or throwing away some old notebooks or having a spiritual cleanse that takes a few days of the moon cycle. You can also make moon water during this time. And this is really great if you take a glass jar with a lid and you put good 
drinking water in it and put it out overnight where it'll catch the full moon. Then you have moon water. You can even put some washed crystals in the bottom of the water and let those work together out there and make a magic elixir for you. There are all kinds of ceremonies for the moon. See what feels right for you. Maybe it's just being with yourself in the light of the moon or just in the thought of the moon. I find that when we tune into the natural cycles of our lives, of the world, that we have a lot more peace inside of us. We have a lot more of that unshaken faith inside of us. And this time in our world, in 2020, midway through the year, the world does not feel like a very stable place. We know the earth is fine. We know most of her people are fine, but we have had things that have rocked our world, that have taken it off its metaphorical axis and caused harm, death, concern. But if we use this moonlight to bring in a gentle cycle for ourselves, then we're doing the most powerful thing we can do to change the outside by changing the inside, by shining a light on the inside. Ah, take a breath. Yeah. What I'd like to do now is read to you the Lemurian code card for the Star Center 6 which is the third eye, and I do this every month. And for those of you that don't know, the Lemurian Codes are a system of healing that comes in the form of 11 cards that you read the message on the back from the Star Mothers, and you place them on your star centers, which are formerly known as chakras. They come with instructions, and today, before I begin reading Star Center 6, which is right here, I want to read you the message from the Star Mothers that they gave me now three years ago to create this way of reawakening our Pleiadian DNA, the consciousness that's inside of us that we've had since we lived in Lemuria. So this is what they said when they gave me these beautiful gifts of these cards. We are with you to explore the greatest awakening of your age, the truth of who you are as divine creators. Breathe in and invite the expanded consciousness of the one source to resonate through all the cells of your being. You hold in your hands, and they mean the cards here, a story of humanity's spiritual unfolding in the grace and the timing of the divine plan. And then they go on to say that the beginning of spiritual awareness and higher consciousness was brought to the planet to be experienced with the humans by the Pleiadian star mothers and Lemuria was the place where that happened. And it was a consensual experience between human and divine. Now, the human genetic code has been carrying these pieces of Pleiadian information for many, many thousands of years and perhaps thousands of lifetimes. Now is the time for that to open. That's why these cards came, this healing system, this awakening activation system was so that it would be here for us when it was time for those memories to be reactivated. So I use one of these cards every month during the full moon purposefully to activate one star center above the rest. Now, when 
you use these cards, there are other activations. The first one, as I said, you read the cards and place them on your body. Then there are five other activations. And you can find all of that on my website, amberwolfphd.com forward slash Lemurian codes. You will resonate with this, I am sure. I can feel it. So I'm going to read you Star Center 6. And what I'd like you to do is just to close your eyes and quietly go inside. Take a breath. And another one. And just let your being receive this information. It's more than just hearing. It's letting it into your being, into those Pleiadian codes that live inside of you. And let the moon's influence step up to help recreate a time before the world as we know it, when we were one with the moon, the stars, and the sun. Star Center Six. Deep in the physical center of your human brain is the pineal gland, the all-seeing, all-knowing eye that reverberates with your awakening. This all-embracing eye recognizes an unbroken stream of balance, objectivity, and trust in the perfection of spirit's plan. Life streams into and from your portal of expanded perception as insight. And then take another breath. <clears throat> Just keeping your eyes closed. And we will hear a message from the star mothers now about star center six. So letting that message of awakening and insight find its way into all the nooks and crannies of your being, all the passages of your physical and your non-physical. Open your body, your sacred vessel. Let the cells stand, circulate, and be ready to receive the message that continues from the loving star mothers. Dear Shining Ones, we step forward into this meeting with great joy and celebration for this moon and this time to be with you. This is full moon time. This is a measurement for us. But it is also a time of great healing on the planet. And as this moon shines, there are also many planets in what you call retrograde. Some would say they are moving backwards and causing chaos. Those planets are doing exactly as they should be for this time on earth. They always are. And what they do is open to human interpretation. So let us, your star mothers, interpret this celestial time in a different way. This full moon the turning point of the year of 13 full moons is a halfway point. It is a beautiful measurement of time between now and the next winter solstice. Please know that that is our measurement of time in the Northern Hemisphere. Before we came to your planet, we were very aware of the timing of all of these things. And now 
we bring you more understanding as to why. And here is one very important why. This moon is not just up there in the sky as you see it, shining down on you. This moon is also refracting and reflecting and shining light on the planets in your solar system. The influence of its energy is felt by even all those retrograde planets. That's how powerful she is. And we call the moon her and she and goddess. We do that for a reason. We see the moon as divine feminine. We see the moon as source energy. We see the moon as dancing with the joy of being the female. This full moon, we ask you, we give you this homework. For three days during this full moon time, we ask you to bask in the light of the moon, to physically receive the moonlight into your being. We ask you this for a purpose. Even if you cannot go outside in the moonlight, stand by a window. What will happen is the collective consciousness of the divine feminine will be reflected in many ways, in many countries, as this moon makes her path across the sky. Look at her, let her shine on you. Turn your gaze to the moon and look at her directly for at least three minutes, for three nights. And while you do this, make yourself as peaceful as possible. Take those very short three minutes and stretch them into a languid, luminous, delicious three minutes of time or longer if that is available to you. This is a time when the women of the planet can be together, can create a moon grid, very, very powerful. And you who are doing this, shine a light not only on yourselves, but on the world around you. You become a beacon of light. That light reflects back from you into the world, into the gentleness of the dark of the night. Befriend her beautiful Luna. Let her be your guide throughout the month, not just during the full moon. For we await you on the new moon as well. Our dear Meliha will create another portal very soon. So we give you this homework, dear, beautiful, shining goddesses of the moon teachers, healers, and priestesses of the moon. Stand in her light and gaze. Three minutes, three nights. Invite her in and say yes to the glory that is her feminine power, her softness, yet her unyielding ability to transform shadows into light. 
Take a breath. Dear Shining Ones, we always look forward to spending time, purposeful time with you. And we thank our Meliha for creating these portals so that you come together, star sisters, one and all. Children of our hearts, our stars live in you as seeds for your own light. We step back now. We step back and return the meeting to our beloved Meliha. Take a breath. <sighs> and take a stretch. Put your hands on your heart and stretch out and up. Touch them together. Bring them back down. Feel that moon motion move through you as a wave of your own inner fluids as they move. This is a special time, a beautiful time for us to spend together and a time to remember how blessed we are to be alive on the planet now. This is a time to walk our talk. Yeah. Shine your light, dear goddesses. Shine your light. It is the most precious thing that we all have. Thank you for being here with me, for being here with me and the Star Mothers and the beautiful Lemurian Code for today. Oh, I think I have it up. Yeah, that's right side up. Star Center 6. The goddess in me recognizes and honors the goddess in you as I depart our sacred circle. I close with this. I honor each one of you for the work that you're doing in the world, for the joy and the celebration that you bring to the world. Thank you all. Each time you participate in circles, sacred circles, we are healing the divine feminine together. My dearest blessings to you all. Happy full moon. <laughs>